Hello and welcome to the next in my video series, Keep Psalms and Carry On, Seeking Solace in the Psalms. I offer you a psalm to focus and to enjoy, to help bring peace and meditation into your Christian walk. This video doesn't so much explain, but helps you see it as a tool of meditation to find your own calm and peace in God's word. So let's begin with a prayer. Our Lord and Father, we thank you for the many blessings you bestow upon us. Bless us now with clarity and with strength of mind. Bless us with serenity and with the capacity to know you and feel your presence in us. Be with us now as we meditate upon the word you have given us. It is in your Son's most holy name that I pray. Amen. Okay, so the psalm I'm going to look at today is Psalm 34, which it's a quite lengthy psalm, and I think there are different parts that you can use separately at different points that you may need them, and they all do work together in one progression. So let's look at it in parts. So the first section I want to look at is in verses 1 through 6, and you'll see that on the left side of your screen. These verses we can use to meditate upon praising the Lord aloud, perhaps read them aloud, Look at the benefit of boasting in the Lord. In the humble rejoice, it brings us together. Seeking in this way takes us from our fears. We become radiant. We cry, and the Lord saves us from our troubles. Say these lines aloud, and don't fear saying them in company. Now look at verses 7 through 10 on the right. Here fear is used in a different way. Fear of the Lord. Here fear is used as respect, not as anxiety. We fear God to take refuge in him. He provides for us if we respect and put our fear, our faith in him. Fear of the Lord takes our stubborn pride from us, brings us humbly under God. Read that verse, O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. You feel it in your mouth, in your senses. Fearing him takes away once. We want to think of ourselves as young lions, strong and vibrant, yet that strength is truly lack and hunger, scrounging for nourishment. But not we who seek the Lord. Meditate upon these verses to humble yourself and trust in God's provision. So let's move on to verses 11 through 16, and they're on your left. Come, you children, listen to me. It invites us to be open ears as children and opposes that which with the man who seeks a long, good life. What is the advice we get here? Keep your voice from evil and deceit. Keep your actions from evil. Do good and look for peace. And we then meditate on what God sees, what he hears. He sees us who are good. He hears our cries and prayers. And God's face stares down evildoers to wipe them away. Use these verses to return yourself to innocence, to bring your path back to peace and purity as a child again. Finally, we have verses 17 through 21, and these verses address our troubles, being brokenhearted, our spirits crushed. The Lord hears our cries. He takes our troubles away. He saves our crushed spirit. It doesn't deny our affliction and that we will have many, but assures us that the Lord will deliver us. He keeps all his bones doesn't let them break. It assures us that evil shall one day be gone and the hatred of us will be condemned itself. Assurance comes at the end that if we take refuge in him, we will not be condemned. So take these verses and meditate upon them when you're deeply spiritually troubled and let them assure you and you can also take this psalm altogether as a journey, inviting you to bless the Lord 
by washing away your anxiety then putting your fear into the Lord, humbling and trusting, taking yourself down to a child, going to purity, and finally being assured that all our troubles will be delivered from us by the Lord. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the thumbs up button at the bottom. And if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to the Northfield Church of Christ's YouTube page, and you'll be alerted to our live streaming of our Sunday morning Bible studies and our Sunday morning worship services, and also an additional service that is offered by our minister Mark on Sunday evenings at 6 p.m. So until next time, keep Psalms and carry on.